Hey guys, uh, today I got uh, something new in the mail. It's a GEP RC uh, flight controller. This is their 12 amp version. This is version 1.1. I just want to share what's the difference between version 1.0 uh, and 1.1. Haven't opened it yet, so this is going to be a quick review, kind of unpacking type of deal. And I'll show you what I know about 1.1 version of this flight controller. All right, let's open this up. Okay. We've got a flight controller here. Um, good. Okay. Got the XT30, and we've got some stickers here. These are the stickers. I'll get them to my soldering pad. Okay, and uh, on the packaging, I don't know, you guys see 1.1 version on the bottom here. All right, let's look at the board real quick. So I got the Beta FPV version 1 of their board. Um, I used it for my two-speak style build here. Um, the one issue I had was it did not have all the pads, uh, connecting pads for some some of the additional receivers I wanted to use. Like I got the RXSR receiver that I could not use with a Beta FPV version 1 board. So this supposedly changes this and that's where we kind of uh, going to go over right now. Let me grab something that I can point with. Let's grab this. Um. All right, so this is version 1.1. Southern job looks okay, not too good. Um, so one cool thing about this version is we now have a pad right here, and it says it's an FP pad. Okay, so I'm assuming it's a it's a F port, right? A FrySky port. Um, older version, version one, did not have that. Okay, and in addition, now we have a 3.3 volt port. We did not have that in a version one. So this is a uh, this is kind of cool because we can. What I can do is I can take the RXSR. I can flash the F port firmware on it. And I can send a, a signal straight up to this uh, F port pad, and hopefully it, it will work. I have not tested that yet. This is my next thing. This is uh, kind of I'm going to do a next video. I'm still waiting for my X Lite Pro to come in to test it out, and then uh, I'll, I'll make another video about the uh, RXSR um, and all its features. But so far. It looks very similar to the Beta FPV board. I'm sure they're kind of stamping them in the same factory. And I know Beta FPV website did mention their version 1.2 also uh, uh, accepts RXSR and uh, I believe R9M receivers, if I'm not mistaken. So um, so is this board. So I just kind of wanted to show you why it's this version 1.1 is different from 1.0 and some of the kind of advantages which I'm excited that I can use this uh, RXSR receiver on uh, on this board and I will be building my next uh, pickle frame build here with a uh, 1103s and just kind of do a, a quick fitting guide this is the the pickle frame version 2 for the 1102 0802 motors okay so supposedly version 2 I have not tested it yet we just open it up as you saw supposedly version 2 uh, um, micro USB hole is a little bit further out for to accommodate these these new boards but uh, I'm not sure about that so because in the version 1 it kind of um, it kind of did not align okay I'm seeing the same issue here um, you see how we are off um, on these sides right here we're off so what I had to do was I had to uh, take a file and file that a little bit to get it fit so it looks like it's the same still issue on version uh, version 2 of the pickle frame I know the, the the improvements are right here mostly because a lot of people are having breakage here so um, okay that's good to know so I'm, I'm gonna file that down so this frame is a 
two-speak style frame. This is their other frame uh, from Pyrodrone. It's an improved version, supposedly has a, a different motor, holes, uh, etc. So let me try and see. It does have a, a, a wider uh, micro USB port here. Let's see if that's going to work. And uh, it actually even worse than uh, than the pickle frame version two. So um, looks like I do have to file this. Uh, this frame as well uh, as the Pico frame, so that's okay. Um, these these frames were made for F4 Crazy B boards, and uh, their um, micro USB port was uh, slightly um, towards the center of the board, so that's that's why I guess they had to move it farther in order to accommodate for these bigger MOSFETs. Anyway, uh, I'm excited uh, to build this up to uh, connect the RXSR to this board and um, build another two-spec style uh, micro drone. So hopefully this helped. Please subscribe and uh, you will get notified for more videos coming how, uh, how I connected the X-Lite Pro to our XSR and this Gep RC 12 amp version 1.1 board and uh, see if we run into any issues.